what's up guys we're gonna roll beats and today i'm gonna show you some keyboard shortcuts all right most of these will be helpful some of them are like little secrets or something that aren't really probably in the in the manual but most people don't know about them so i have quite a few i will have a download link in the description it will lead to my twitter and i'll have the link in my twitter so you know make sure to follow me all that good stuff um i know people complain about adfly so i'm just start posting stuff on my twitter the direct link or whatever so i'm gonna get started the first batch or just general just a general um keyboard shortcut so the first one you hold alt and scroll over a note it'll change the velocity or the panning or whatever and you can go to the velocity you can see it changing all right so that's the first one the next one is if you hover over a vst let's just load in fl keys move that all right you can change the channel rack or not the channel rack the mixer track so just hold all right hold up you just hold alt and scroll and it'll change it scroll down to make it go up as you can see and scroll up to make it go down it's kind of backwards but it, it still works so this one here i'll have to delete this because let's cut that the next one i'm just set it up real quick this will let you delete multiple tracks at once all right so you can select so you have a kick a drum and a perk that you want to delete hold alt and press delete all right simple as that it'll delete those okay so let's delete those real quick the next one is i guess it's kind of helpful it's just something i i did and i it was kind of helpful at the time so you have a bunch of small notes and you want to fine tune it just hover over it and then hold control and then scroll and it'll scroll in on that note okay helpful for like hi-hats and stuff so there you go and i'll delete this okay so what is the next one um hide layers this one is a, like a always wants to know how to do this but basically it's just gonna hide this layer for sp more space so i'll just color correct these whatever real quick not correct but i'll just change the color so you can see the difference say i have my sounds and i'm done with my melodies down here and maybe it's taking up too much space more space than you want it what you can do is press alt and z and it'll hide them just like that okay now to unhide you want to right click on them all right that's how you unhide all right so that's just a simple one it's great for you know so let's do this i'm sure there's a way to unhide all of them but i don't know you know comment down below if you have any other you know keyboard shortcuts so let's see the next one the next one you've seen me do already but i didn't actually tell you how to do it so you just select the vst or whatever you want and if you want to duplicate it um or make multiple press alt c okay and this is gonna create a bunch all right um if you have omnisphere i would not recommend doing this because it's gonna freeze your computer um if you do a bunch if you do one or something then you, you'll be fine you can do that with different vsts as well so if you want like a purity a nexus you want to copy it select them and you can copy it as you can see i'll do that real quick and to select different ones hold shift and press click and you can just select different ones so you can see but right now i'm going to delete all of this all right so what's the next one the next one is to hide the track number so if you don't want this here just press alt m and it will hide it simple as that i'm not sure if you can do that here no so just in the channel rack just hide the numbers or whatever you can actually stretch this and this is for the latest version of fl so i'm not sure if it works for fl studio 11 or anything it should you know but again i'm not sure um how to quickly render um your beat or whatever to wave just control r and you can render it okay um let's see let me just go over here and look and see what else we have all right control click now this one is kind of important um because you can just see what sounds you have instead of playing it on your keyboard or whatever i guess if you want to but if you hold control and click it'll play the sound 
you can see it's in key as well so that's very helpful okay replace i'll go to none and again that was holds control and click on it and it'll play the note or the you know whatever so what's the next one? Oh, okay so um you can press control or alt for this one or hold it so i'm gonna hold control and let me make more and you can just mute all okay so control and just click this and it'll just mute everything else all right and you can just double click to unmute it everything so that one's a quick one helpful one um you've probably done this on accident you can hold shift and click on something and you can change the name and the color all right um all right this one is just it's a simple one you can do it up here but you can just change the channel rack or the pattern block or whatever from down here and you can look up here and see it's changing right you just scroll that's all you do is scroll you probably already did that or know about that but you know some people might not okay now copying presets okay so i'm just gonna put some presets down real quick my fl is all right that should be good all right so let me just put some presets down okay so say you want to copy this preset say you have a compressor you know just something that you want for your kick and you have another kick or something over here um you can copy them and you can just go down here to this little arrow go to file and just click and drag all right and you can drag it over to whatever you want and it'll copy your presets okay now if you hold shift you can change actually the the placement of your uh mixer tr track or whatever so you can see the same vsts you can just look down here you can see that i'm just changing it i don't know why i just stopped so yeah you can do that the same thing here so say i have these two you can just organize it shift hold shift and scroll that's how you do that and let me go back over here and scroll down so i can see what i'm doing all right now this one is a very helpful one all right very helpful if you don't know how to do it now say you have everything you know your beat your beat is here a quick very quick shortcut is just highlight them all and press Control l and it will put everything down all right now it's out of place because i already had stuff there but you'll see you know what i'm saying it puts everything in the mixture track all right and you can press Control shift 2 i'm not sure what the difference is but i know they both work and you just press Control shift l or Control l all right and then enter will make windows larger or just go back to the playlist as you can see it just alt defaults to the playlist and then escape will actually just um let me go back it'll like delete all the window extra windows you see it'll just do that escape that's the escape button all right now to hide master channels shift enter i forget what that one actually does let me see shift enter okay yeah that's not really needed but i guess if you want more space to mix shift enter to hire these again i can't remember all these so i'm not sure exactly what all of these do i just remember writing them down control enter is the only show the fx rack so i'm guessing it just shows only let's see yeah so it just show all of this simple um let's see right click on the effects button that just shows all of the effects instead of just having to click on one you can show all of them all right right click on this button here let me pull it up right here right click to show them and disable them as well so you can just click left click to do de not delete but to mute them you should know that already so now i'm moving on on to windows all right these are just some quick ones and not, i'm not going to show all of these because it might mess up the recording 
so i know i'm gonna show alt tab all right and i'll put the let me put the background so it's all right alt tab what that's gonna do is show all windows and i can show you that one so hold alt and press tab and actually oh, i can't show you that one hmm I might just put an edit in there to show you what it does. So basically alt tab, it'll just pull up every window. There's every application or window that is open on your computer and it will like cycle through them. Okay. And this is just a window shortcut. All right. And some of these will help if your computer is messing up. So windows button plus tab will make the window fade out. All right. And then control enter will highlight everything um, in the playlist so control enter and it'll just highlight everything all right and then to hide your taskbar all right you can't see it because of my little graphic down here but you press alt enter to hide your taskbar and i would do it but it's going to make my fl studio stretch all the way to the other side of the screen and i don't want that right now but it's going to hide it and make everything full screen so now we're going to move to the piano roll there's just a few all right, let's go on the piano roll. I'll make this large and you want to pay attention to like stuff up here. So the F key, that's going to change the bottom menu. All right, and I'm not sure if all these are going to work right away. Let me put some notes down. All right, now you see, just pay attention down here. All right, I'll make this larger. The F key is going to change, cycle through these. So I'm going to press the F key. You can see it changing. Okay. Now this one is a good one. This will flip through the samplers. So the G key or the K key will flip through the samplers. Okay. You can see it just changed. And I'm going to put some stuff here just so you can see that it's actually cycling. See, all right, F key. What is it? The G and K key. My bad. All right. So the C key obviously cut. You know, if you just want to do some cutting real quick. Okay. Um, the L key will switch from pattern play to playlist play. So that's basically clicking up here. If you're too lazy to press it, and you can look, you can see it tells you everything right here. Okay. So it'll just switch. All right, you just L space to play either one. The P key will go back to the paint tool. So if you're in cutting, if you're cutting, press P and it'll go back to the draw tool. Okay. And then to highlight all, just press control A to highlight all. All right, so now control and you press the arrows, you can basically change the, let me go back, the octave and stuff. And then you can change the selected highlight highlighted area, right? You can see I'm switching. And if you want to like fine tune it, you can hold shift and then you can go, you know, change this. All right, go up, down, left, right. And if you want to really, really fine tune it, hold alt and with the arrows, you can like, you can only go left and right, but you can see you can change it like that. Okay, this is a long video, but gotta get through it let's see what is next obviously the, the quantized chop now this is important because a lot of people just do you know alt u but this is quantized so if you want to quantize it so say i'm at one fourth beat all right let's just put these off a little bit well actually no that doesn't even make sense all right if you want to quantize it to the one fourth beat like if you want a hi-hat roll all right you're gonna press control all right you're basically you're controlling the chop control u and it'll chop to the actual um quantization that you have all right now what's the next one control click and drag to highlight all right hold control click and drag all right just like that and then shift click to just select the highlight it's not really working right now or maybe it's control yeah it's control to select the highlight now the shift part comes in if you want to add multiple all right so hold shift control hold control and shift and then click to do multiple 
all right i know it was a little confusing but i'll put this stuff up on the screen so next these are the last ones this is in the browser all right in the browser so i'm gonna pull up a kit i'll just pull up a free kit zaytoven kit whatever all right so if you pre let me go back here now if you press alt click it will play the sound well obviously but let me pull this out obviously it's gonna do that let me see now all right i had to set it up first now <laughs> alt plus click is gonna play the original sound that you have selected over here so you can compare so if you want to be like i'm not sure what you know 808 i want to use you hold alt click all right you can see this is highlighted right you kind of got to do some like you kind of got to cheat you got to cheat the system a little bit but you highlight this hold alt and then just like that all right now control click will add these to the sampler and you can see this change you see it changing so you don't have to drag it anymore you can just hold control yeah you can see it all right and to fast scroll so you have a like a everything open i actually don't have that right now but you control and scroll and it's a fast scroll instead of like this okay if you want to change the size of the browser easily hold shift and scroll you can see change the size of it all right and then the last one all right right click on the sound to add it to the rack the channel rack easily so let me and you can just add these all right all right now how i just did that is i held control and then i right click to add it all right so that's pretty much it um i can i guess i could do a part two this video is pretty boring to be honest but some people want to know how to do these shortcuts so again i have that download on my twitter the direct link um make sure to go follow me on there if you go over there and get that this little um document with the keyboard shortcuts and uh hopefully you like this video and i'll see you guys in the video peace